Hey fellow Ford Warriors, it's Angry Turtle, and this time around I'm coming with a guide for midweek. You maybe already know exactly what you need to do. If you don't know everything, then I will hand you some really good tips and tricks how to carry this event, because sometimes you will have no one to count on and you will need to carry the event by yourself, what can be a little bit tricky, but still possible. And other case scenario can be that event will complete itself almost instantly if there will be a lot of people participating. Event is not started yet, then I want this opportunity to tell you what's the best strategy and the best approach. Basically, I recommend to start from donating prime meat, because if event will complete too quickly and you have any prime meat on you, then you will have no opportunity to donate it. And According to data mine information, Prime Meat doesn't help with the progress, it only gives script for you. Then the best to do is start with that, because after event will complete, you cannot donate Prime Meat anymore. Next thing. Here you can donate wood. Then after donating Prime Meat, you should donate wood, because there is 30 second cooldown for donating wood and for donating Charlie's feet. Therefore, I recommend donating wood at Charlie's feet over here as often as possible. And as you can see, I switch on the grass to have the same experience like everyone in this guide. As actually removing the grass, what I usually do, helps a lot with this event. Help you spot the critters, help you spot a fire and everything else. But for the purpose of this guide, I have grass enabled and you can only disable it on PC, then if you are interested in that, then check my guide how to troubleshoot your performance issue, how to improve frame rates on my channel as well. And after I will show you everything about this event, I found an awesome post on Reddit, including a spreadsheet with all the rewards, then we go quickly over that after completing this guide. And as you can see, there is two minutes to warm up, the event is already up on the map, and it's in here. I'm already on it, it's why there is no icon. And as you can see, everything spawned. Like this rubbish already spawned. And this is important, because those piles are reducing your progress with every second. Then you should focus on those piles, remove them as quickly as possible. They will not respawn. Then if you remove them, you prevent progress from dropping. The second thing, uh, there will be those leaves. I don't think they spawn yet. I cannot see any, but you can see there is more rubbish piles and the big green reefs that look basically like those plants behind will be donating that. It will look like that. You will look for them as well. And other very important thing that will be visible when events start, there will be random fires. You need to put those fires down, it's a priority. They have the biggest impact on reducing your progress. Apart from that, you will be killing critters and hold off with donating until you have a lot of that. That's the best strategy. And those critter chunks you will donate over here and those greens you will donate in here as well. Charlie will be making poo from time to time, removing this poo helps with the progress as well. Oh, and it started. Yeah, let's donate this prime meat first. You can see every five prime meat you have five script. The 15 is cap. From one event you can get only 15. Then you donate, we donate wood and we donate Charlie's feet. And now you can see those plants are growing. Keep collecting them, keep your eyes open if there is any fire and don't forget to remove those. Like people quite often ignore it and look for critters, but this is actually dropping your progress. Then it's really important to remove it and collect all those greens. And we are doing very well. We have a lot of people then. In this case, it looked like we'll finish now. And I can donate wood again. No, I cannot yet, but almost. It's so close. I think we did it. Yeah, we did it. I got Vampire Broadsider. Thank you a lot, game. That's so handy. That it can be really fast. We didn't even get opportunity to put down any fires. Now a little bit about the rewards. 
I have some of them already, then I can I can show you. I have a plan for a backpack skin. I have Charlie the Mumu outfit and Green Ma Grill Master's hat. And here how it's look. You can see it. Uh, the mask is not a part of those rewards. The mask is from Raider Bundle that you can buy with real money from... Not from Atom Shop. It's a bundle that you need to go for Bethes through the Bethesda website and store. And this is the outfit, Chali de Mumu outfit. This is Chali de Mumu backpack and Grill Master's hat. Oh, another important note. If you are going to AFK on this event, you can either play those drums or rotate those mid speeds. Those activities actually help with progress. It gives a little bit of progress with each second. And what is important, if you see people rotating the speeds, then join them. Do not spread across like drums and speeds. Try to fill up all three of those first, because if all three speeds are used, then the bonus is doubled. Then try to fill up either speeds or drums first before going for the other thing. And now let me show you the Reddit post and the spreadsheet included. And I will put a link to the Reddit post in the description then please go there and upload it it's really good post it's not mine post but someone put a lot of work into it and here is the post from reddit i was talking about there is a link spreadsheet let's open it and that's the spreadsheet i will not go over every single item item in here if you are interested check the reddit post and check the spreadsheet by yourself but i will tell you what you really want to get and what's important to keep an eye on Apart from the cosmetics, because those are personal choices, you either want them or don't want them. But here, under weapons, first time this year we can get plan for mid tenderizer. That's an amazing two-handed melee weapon. Unfortunately, last year we were only able to get a non-legendary version and there it was not possible to get plan. I do hope that with this plan we'll be able to get a legendary version from some random rewards. I'm not 100% sure about that, but at least how it works with other weapons, then I hope it's the case with mid tenderizer. This plan I want, after fully completing the event, it's only 2.27% chance, then there is not too high chance. Then you can get tenderizer mods and important recipe for tato salad. And if you do not know, Tato Salad, it's awesome food for herbivores as it boosting your maximum HP. Then this is really good recipe and it's not hard to craft. I'm still missing it on my main. I made a mistake last year and I learned it on my alt and I had no idea that drop chance is so low. It's only 2.27%. Therefore, use it on your main. If you will get more than one, you probably can get a good price in caps for this recipe. Apart from that, you can drop some random meat, alcohol, stims. And here below you have uh, tips and tricks. Some of those I already shared with you doing this guide, but there is more info in here. If you are interested like in how much the progress bra bar will move, depending on what you are doing, then you have all those data in this spreadsheet and you can check it out. And credits. Sheet was created by Gilpo. Thank you, Gilpo, mate. You are awesome for doing this. And you have some links for data miners, Discord, for the plan collectors Discord, and United Dwellers of Appalachia Discord. Check it out if you are interested. And finally, Primal Cats. That's part of the midweek. And what I want to tell you about those, it's a it's the event that gives you this prime meat that you can exchange for a script. Basically, you can do it. It's quite fun, although totally not necessary. You are not losing anything about from, apart from this script. If you give up on those events and you will be doing whatever else, like for example, nuking the colossal problem in the meantime between the hours. I'm not gonna do like a, a guide for this because it's pretty simple. Just go there and kill the beast that will keep attacking. And that's the guide, guys. I hope it will be helpful for at least some of you. For a lot of you, those info is probably already well known because it was working exactly the same way last year. And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.